Hello everyone, welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. So in the last part, we decided to do that quest. I don't know what the name was, but we had to go and get someone because of the wardens or something and the demons and something something. Anyways, we fell into the Fade. That's why everything looks weird. We're in the Fade and we have to find out where to- oh, good. Ooh, our supplies are replenished. Thank God for the Fade having supplies that we need. So we have to go right here so let's go this is like a whole map in itself and like Solus is over here he has like a fucking boner like girl I can see it calm down oh oh my gosh I shouldn't oh my god are you kidding me are you my kidding me right now could that be I wait that's you, warden <gasps> and you Champion, Divine Justinia. Whoa! Dude, she's hella dead. I thought you were dead. I don't understand. I don't understand. Back at Haven, I saw... I thought I saw... How can you be here? She's not. I fear we face a spirit. <gasps> or a demon. I don't know. You think my oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Yet, here you stand alive. In the fade yourself. I'm so sorry, guys. In truth, proving my existence either way would require time we do not have. Surely you can understand our concerns and explain what you are. I am here to help you. You oh do not my gosh. what happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, Inquisitor. Do I have you to blame? That's right. How do you know my title? You do not remember? That's right. That's right. No, I don't. The memories you have lost were taken by the demon that serves Corypheus. It is the nightmare you forget upon waking. It feeds off memories. Oh of my fear gosh, and I'm so sorry, guys. Fat upon the terror. The false calling that terrified the wardens into making such grave mistakes? It's work. I would gladly avenge the insult this nightmare dealt, my brethren. You will have your chance, brave warden. This place of darkness is its lair. Why do demons Corypheus serve Corypheus? Corypheus seems to have a lot of demons at his disposal. How does he command so many? I know not how he commands his army of demons. His power may come from the Blight itself, but the nightmare serves willingly. For Corypheus has brought much terror to this world. He was one of the magisters who unleashed the first blight upon the world, was he not? Every child's cry as the archdemon circles. Every dwarf's whimper in the deep roads. The nightmare has fed well. How do we get home? Oh crap! <laughs> Let's just say, oh crap! The big demon Eremond was trying to bring through. Yes. It's nearby. Yes. Well, shit. <laughs> Love it. Heaven, the demon took a part of you. Before you do anything else, you must recover it. These are your memories, Inquisitor. Ah! Oh, no way. Oh, we love that. I'm so sorry that that thing was there. I didn't know. Hold to what? Bring forth the sacrifice. <gasps> What's going on here? Oh, guys. Why are you doing this? You, of all people! <sighs> what is this doing? <gasps> oh! oh my gosh, it's all coming back! <gasps> no! You guys! Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. 
Dumbass grabbed it. Ah. Whoa. So, your mark did not come from Andraste. It <gasps> came from the orb Corypheus used in his ritual. Corypheus intended to rip open the veil, use the anchor to enter the Fade, and throw open the doors of the Black City. Not for the old gods, but for himself. This is wild. When you did this plan, the orb bestowed the anchor upon you instead. Uh, when you disrupted the this plan, the orb destroyed the anchor upon you instead. So it wasn't Andraste. So this was what an accident, a random ricochet in the middle of a fight. And if it was, <laughs> if it was, then neither the Maker nor Andraste were in any way involved in this. I'm just. If you believe in the Maker, then you believe he made this world, and everything in it, including your accident. And if you do not, then nothing has changed. <gasps> you cannot escape the lair of the Nightmare until you regain all that it took from you. You have recovered some of yourself, but now it knows you are here. You must make haste. I will prepare the way ahead. OMG, I'm gonna lose my power. Something troubles you, Hawk. Those were Grey Wardens holding the Divine in that vision. Their actions led to her death. <gasps> I assumed he had taken their minds, as you have seen him do before. Come, we can argue after we escape this dark place. Oh, I intend to. Do you believe it was really her? The Divine? We have survived in the Fade physically. Perhaps she did as well. Or, if it is a spirit that identifies so strongly with Justinia, that it believes it is her, how can we say it is not? No demon would have been so helpful without asking something in return. That's great, no. But the nightmare is the thing currently scaring the shit out of me. It is a fear demon, as I suspected. Likely drawing on terrors related to the Blight. Fear is a very old, very strong feeling. It predates love, pride, compassion, every emotion, save perhaps desire. Wow, Solas with the tea. Will do anything in its power to weaken our resolve. After what it did to my fellow wardens, I pray we find some way to strike it down. Wow, that was like crazy when I was seeing. I just I got so emotional when I saw the the vision, and um, because like this is the whole point of this. I want to know why I got this, why I'm doing this in the first place. Like, I want to know. And here we go. Ah, we have a visitor. <gasps> Some silly little girl comes to steal the fear I kindly lifted from her shoulders. You should have thanked me and left your fear where it lay, forgotten. <gasps> You think the pain will make you stronger? What fool filled your mind with such truth? The only one who grows stronger from your fears is me. But you are a guest here, I hope. So by all means, let me return what you have forgotten. Guess this nightmare wasn't such hot shit after all. These are but minor servants of the nightmare. Just let me have this moment to hope, all right? Fear of, fears of the dreamers. The freeholder. I watched the blight take my land. I had nowhere to go. I tended the fields as I had even as my flock died and my family sickened. My body racked by pains and chills. I saw too late the poison that had crept into the land. In my fever dreams... The sickness covered this whole world, and I wept in fear 
for the family I killed with my foolish pride. Show me that this world survives. Show me that the poison does not take everywhere. Perhaps I <gasps> should be afraid, facing the most powerful members of the Inquisition. <laughs> the Kunari will make a lovely host for one of my minions. Or maybe I will ride his body myself. <gasps> Greetings, Dorian. It is Dorian, isn't <gasps> it? For a moment, I he must knows him. you for your father. Rather uncalled for. That is honestly... He's just getting into their fears, right? Wow, this is crazy. What about Solis? Durf ma herelan. Ma banal in asalin. Marsolas in amardin. What? Why is he talking to Solus in a different language? That's very suspicious. Did you think you mattered, Hawk? <gasps> did you think anything you ever did mattered? Oh, that's sad. You couldn't even save your city. How could you expect to strike down a god? You're a failure, and your family died knowing it. <gasps> of course, a fear demon would know where to hurt us most. We must ignore it. That is like so rude. Those were little fears, tiny manifestations spawned from the nightmare itself. And they take the form of spiders, something so many fear. You saw spiders? <sighs> spiders would have been a massive improvement from what I saw. Remember, we walk in the fade. Demons of fear shape their appearance to unnerve each of us. Well, now I feel better. That is so funny. I like how they all interact. I wonder how Sarah would have been like here. Should have just brought like the most randomest people. The nightmare is closer now. It knows you seek escape. With each moment, it grows stronger. There is not much time, Inquisitor. Do you remember what happened? You must know what really happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. As must you. The answer lies in your memories. Lost to the nightmare when you last walked the Fade. Or you could just tell me. Would you trust my words? Trust what you have seen. Tell me about this anchor. What can you tell me about this mark on my hand? You already know how mark came to be upon your hand. As for what it is, it is the needle that pulls the thread, as well as the key. I don't understand. It is the needle that passes through the veil, as little else can. You are the thread, and it is the key that locks or unlocks the door to the Fade. It lets you walk in the Fade physically, and survive. Without it, Corypheus must find another way to the Black City. It is part of you now, and cannot be removed without your death. Um... Is anything here real? So, all of this is just a dream. Part of the Fade. It is not just a dream. The minds of mankind are made real here. Their hopes, their loves, and their fears. What changes their world also changes this one. And yours are footsteps that move mountains in both. Tread carefully, Inquisitor. This ground is more treacherous than you know. Interesting. Uh, please tell me what you are. So can you tell me who... what you are? I told you. I am helping you. Yes, but are you her or some kind of... Fade remnant of her. Yeah, can you please tell me right now? Imitating her. Our world is never that simple. What if the answer is none of those things? Or all of them? I am what the Maker made me. The question is, are you what the Maker made you, Inquisitor? Oh, that's a burn. Um, I'm right where I should be. Why me? I think this was an accident. Seems like I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Or perhaps you were precisely where you were meant to be. Just as the Maker intended, I suppose. 
I'm so mad. You still haven't answered my question. What are you? I am what you see. All other answers rest in you. Why are you helping Tell me us? Why, you're here. why take part in this? After heaven, I hid here. I watched quietly, learned what I could, and searched for some way to help. And then you came. I don't know what that means. Corypheus and the nightmare do an injustice to the world. You must stop them. Perhaps you were meant to stop them. Perhaps that is why I am here. Tell me of this nightmare. I'd like to know more about the nightmare. It is not simply fear. It is the terror you cannot remember. The horror your mind erases to protect you. When old memories no longer make the veteran soldier's hand tremble, it is because the nightmare has taken them. Most people avoid their fears. It is simple for the demon to steal the darkest fragments. They forget, and it feeds. Corypheus has helped it grow monstrous. It makes people forget the worst parts of their fears. It almost sounds like the nightmare is helping people. Perhaps it was, once. But now, it helps no one but Corypheus. By his hand, it creates more fear and grows even stronger. In any case, robbing people of their fears is never a kindness. At best, it is a mistake born of compassion. Without fear, and pain, and failure, we cannot learn. We cannot grow, as you cannot grow until you recover all that was taken from you. We should keep moving. Strong memory. Ah! <gasps> Another vision, let's go. Keep running. Fear of the dreamers, the Grey Warden. I joined the wardens to serve in glory. Not blade could touch. No blade could touch me, nor any claw pierce. Nor any claw pierce my armor. Still, I was fated by joining to die alone in the deep roads. The calling in my mind. I sat by the last campfire. I would see, allowing myself one last night of terror and cursing the fate that brought me here. Let it be my choice to have served and died. Let it be nobility rather than the dread hand of fate. Destroy my destiny and I'll let this be my decision. Oh, oh, here's another one. The demons! Oh, okay. That's it? I think there's one more. There has to be, right? Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go! This is the breach back in Haven. That's how we... how I escaped. That's the introduction! Keep running! Ah! Shouldn't I have blonde hair? I just dyed my hair like two seconds ago. Go. <sighs> oh, the spiders! Wow, we're really rewatching the. Oh, dude, my jump looks so funny! It was you. <gasps> Oh they gosh. It was Andraste sending me from the Fade, but it was the Divine behind me. And then you. She died. <gasps> oh my gosh. She sacrificed herself for me. Yes. So this creature is simply a spirit. I think we all knew that was the case, Warden. 
<laughs> yeah, I think so. No. Oh. That must have meant something for Hawk. I need to play. I need to play the other two games. Oh, there she goes. Wow. Are you her memory? Are you her soul? Did you watch her? Did you watch her? The nightmare watched Corypheus and grew powerful off the fear. Were you like that for the divine? A spirit watching her from the fade inspired by her faith. If that is the story you wish to tell, it is not a bad one. What we do know is that the mortal divine perished at the temple thanks to the Grey Wardens. As I said, the Grey Wardens responsible for that crime were under the control of Corypheus. We can discuss this further once we return to Adamant. Yes, Adamant, where the Inquisition faces an army of demons raised by the Wardens. How dare you judge us? You tore Kirkwall apart and started the Mage Rebellion. To protect innocent mages, not madmen drunk on blood magic. Even without the influence of Corypheus, the Wardens go too far. They need to be checked. Agreed. The Wardens may once have served a greater good, but they are far too dangerous now. Don't know that we can pass judgment on the only folks who know how to stop blights. They might still be useful. What if Corypheus conjures another blight? You never know. Maker, stop both of you. Now is not the time. I don't know if anyone is right. Now is... Stop both of you. Sweet Maker, could both of you please shut up? We can argue once we've escaped from the giant fear demon. Inquisitor. Oh god. The nightmare has found us. Okay, she just dips. Form up. I'm with you. Gosh, I'm just like so done, honestly. I just I, like from now on I just want my character to be done asking questions. I want answers. Come, real or not, the divine is the key to escaping from the fade. Letter in a child simple writing. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Uh the door is open. Mother said to run. She said the dark spawn were coming. She wanted me to go. The door is open. It was closed when I left. She said she would be right behind me. She said not to come back no matter what. The lamps are lit all over the village, even during the day. To see through the smoke, mother should be here by now. But the door is open. I'm going to look inside. Ooh. Wait, I wanna see some I don't I can't pick that up, I don't think. And I don't think I can do that. Okay, let's keep going. Warden oh. Stroud. How must it feel to devote your whole life to the Wardens, only to watch them fall? Or worse, to know that you were responsible for their destruction? When the next Blight comes, will they curse your name? With the Maker's blessing, we will end this wretched beast. Whispers written in Red Lyrium. We are here, we have waited, we have slept. We have sundered, we are crippled, we are polluted, we endure, we wait. We have found the dreams again. We will awaken. Do you think you can fight me? I am your every fear come to life. I am the veiled hand of Corypheus himself. The demon army you fear, I command it. They are bound all through me. Shut up. Vast of us, but that's a big one. It wants our fear. Deny it and it has nothing. Shoot, I should have not came this way. Haha, <laughs> let's get it. Temple of Duma. Look upon the Temple of Duma. God of Silence. 
uh, who speak to the faithful in dreams. No words of desire may sway his will, no cry of valor may stand against him, for his silence conquers all, and his secrets are guarded only with the worthy look upon the temple of Dume and fear him. Fear, fears of the dreamers, the child. Haven is burned. Mama cries when I'm not looking. It's cold in the mountains and my feet hurt. But Mama says to Hush that others have it worse. She says a monster named Corypheus came to Haven and it was only the maker's blessing that let us escape. I didn't feel blessed. The monsters come every night when I sleep and I don't want to wake Mama crying again. I miss Sir Snor. Sir Snor always kept the monsters away in my dreams. Wow. Went to the water, trying to prey on my deep fear of having wet calves. Huh. Cassandra, what? Oops. Varric became his parents. Uh, BPN irrelevant. What did this say? I didn't even read that one. Um, Cassandra helplessness. Dorian, Temptation, Sarah, the Nothing, Solas, Dying Alone. Oh, that's sad. That's actually sad. Which one is this one? What does this one say? Nothing. Uh, Cold Despair. What does this one say? Nothing. Varric. Uh, Iron Bowl Madness. Wow, that's sad. And the others, they don't want to come out, but wow, what the heck? That's actually very rude of them. So let's go. She's like a little fairy. You must get through the rift, Inquisitor. Get through, and then slam it closed with all your strength. That will banish the army of demons and exile this cursed creature to the farthest reaches of the fate. The rift! They're almost there! Don't say it like that. That guarantees another demon is gonna show up. Ah! Oh, ew! Oh, what is that? Ew! Ew! I don't have a fear of like holes, you know, people have fear of holes, it's just... I am sorry. I That's what it reminds me of, and so I'm getting grossed out for them. Ew! Oh no! Did she... Oh, we love this. You will die in agony. <gasps> we did it. Oh. Run. No, no more, please. We need to clear a path. Go, I'll cover you. No, no, you were right. The Grey Wardens caused this. A warden must, a warden must help them rebuild. That's your job. Corypheus is mine. Ah! Uh, uh, will likely die to cover your escape. I don't want Hawk to die, but I don't want to... I don't want Hawk to die, I'm so sorry. Stroud. Inquisitor. It has no, I'm gonna cry. Oh my god, no, 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 no. No. For the water! No.
I'm sorry, you guys. It's just... I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Just kill everyone, please. Yeah, this freaking superhero moment. I love it. She was right. Without the nightmare to control them, the mages are free. And Corypheus loses his demon army. Though as far as they're all concerned, the Inquisitor broke the spell with the blessing of the Maker. I'll tell them the truth. Once they understand what really happened... Honestly... After all the death they've seen, perhaps it would be better to let them believe the legend. Inquisitor, the Archdemon flew off as soon as you disappeared. The Venatori Magister is unconscious but alive. Cullen thought you might wish to deal with him yourself. As for the Wardens, those who weren't corrupted helped us fight the demons. We stand ready to help make up for Clarell's tragic mistake. Where is Stroud? Oh, Snow. He died a hero. Warden Stroud died striking a blow against a servant of the Blight. We will honor his sacrifice and remember how he exemplified the ideals of the Grey Wardens, even as Corypheus and his servants tried to destroy you all from within. Inquisitor, we have no one left of any significant rank. What do we do now? Help the Inquisition. The Grey Warden help the Inquisition. They may be vulnerable to corruption. The Wardens are banished from Orlais. They did not. Help the Inquisition. Help the Inquisition. Help you us. Stay and do whatever you can. To Everyone help. disapproves. Stroud died for the ideals of the Wardens. Oh, people approve. War, but a lot of people victory, disapprove. We are still at war. Do you believe the Wardens can still help? I do, Your Worship. You're still vulnerable to Corypheus and possibly his Venatori. But there are plenty of demons that need killing. <sighs> While they do that, he's like, "Are you for I real, bitch?" The wardens of Weishaupt, what's happened? Best they not get caught off guard. Thank you, Your Worship. We will not fail you. Good luck, Inquisitor. It's been an honor, and take care of Varric for me. Ugh. This is why I couldn't kill Hawk. Sorry, guys. Hawk send you one final report. He's on his way to Weishaupt. As for the Grey Wardens, they are fighting demons and Red Templars while staying clear of Venatori. You dealt Corypheus a significant blow, Inquisitor. We owe much of that to Stroud and to the Divine. Yes. You took an army from Corypheus, but that will matter little if Ole falls into chaos. All arrangements have been made for the ball in Halam Shiral. Let us know when you are ready to proceed. Remind me what we know about the plot against Selim. The Venatori are planning some kind of attack on the Imperial Court. Corypheus may even be fueling the conflict between the Empress and her cousin, Grand Duke Gaspard. If we warn Selim, she may prove a most valuable ally against Corypheus. Where can I find the Empress? She's holding a grand masquerade ball at her winter palace in Halam Shiral. Your invitation has been arranged. That is where the Venatori will strike. Speak with us when you are ready. <gasps> We're going what to a like? ball. We're going to a ball. Oh. Divine Justinia. Our soul. Or the spirit that took her form. I read your report. I know it isn't clear, but... Um... She was at peace. She seemed... calm, serene even. And she guided us the whole way through. That does sound like her. She did ask me to tell you something, though. She said, I'm sorry, I failed you too. Oh. Aww. I should finish this before it slips my mind. Perhaps later we might discuss the matter further. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. So, 
I'm gonna end the part here. But thank you guys for watching. This was crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And I'm sorry if it's super long, because there wasn't much- or it, I- yeah, there isn't much to cut. But if it is short, that's gonna be weird. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Oh, it was too much. And I did cry with Stroud. I mean, I barely knew the character, but still. Oh, it, it hurt. It hurt. Because I don't like sacrificing people. Um, just in stories in general. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I will hopefully, hopefully, hopefully see the next one. And we will go to the ball. Bye.